Welcome to another Fax 101. In this video, I want to show you how to send a fax from WebUtil. Let's go get started. The first step in sending a fax from a web client is to open your web browser. The URL that you want to go to is whatever your server name is, which in my case is server.otex.train, followed by the forward slash, then the word WebUtil. Depending on the configuration on the server, you may or may not be required to enter a username and password. I do, so I'm entering it now. Well, this is WebUtil. I can do almost everything here that I could do in FaxUtil, but I just want to send a fax, so I can use the New button on the toolbar. Notice that there's a drop-down arrow next to the New button. My choices here are Document, Contact, and Distribution List. I want to create a fax, which is just a document. If I click away and then click on new again, I'll create a new document. This one dialog can be used no matter what I'm sending, just like in FaxUtil. I can send an SMS, an email, or a fax. The first step is to choose who you want to send the fax to. Click the To button to be able to enter this. I could use the phone book or just enter the name and fax number. Hmm. I'm going to send a fax to Matt at fax number 305 555 1234. When I click on Add, Matt is added to my list of recipients. I could add a few more or just click on the Close button. Since I'm sending a fax, I can skip the email subject and move on to the fax cover notes. Hey, Matt, this is a fax from WebUtil. Now I can add attachments by clicking on that button. This works like any web-based file uploader. Browse for the file you want and click Upload. Now click Close and then click the Send button to send the fax. Remember, this is not a regular Win32 app, it's, it's a web app. So I have to click the Refresh button if I want to see that new fax. Clicking on Refresh again shows me the latest status of the fax, and that's all you need to do to send a fax from WebUtil. In future videos, we'll look at some of the other things you can do from WebUtil, including one feature that isn't even in FaxUtil. We'll also look at the other clients. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos about FaxServer, be sure to check out our channel on YouTube. New videos are showing up all the time. Also, check out the Fax Solutions blog with regular postings from all of my colleagues in the Fax and Document Distribution Group. If you have any comments or feedback about this video, share them with me on Twitter. Just go to twitter.com slash technoevangelist. If you don't use Twitter, then leave a comment on the blog. I love getting feedback and suggestions, and many of the videos I've made have come from those suggestions. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.